What's up? And welcome again to Drinking With Me. Today, I have a very, very special drink. This one's all for all my homies in Korea. All my homies that love Korean barbecue and people that like drinking yogurt that is shelf stable. Uh, this we're calling the cult following. The reason for that is the main ingredient, other than booze, is this stuff called Yakult. These uh, strangely shaped little ditties are really good. Uh, they're like, uh, it's like a yogurt type drink. You can go to most like Asian grocery stores and get them. They're, they're fucking delicious. What's up guys? A lot of you are asking me about my skincare routine. It's oil from meat. We're gonna get some ice in there. We're just using regular ice, the kind that's round. We're gonna fill it all the way up. Cause we're just gonna use the ice from this and go right into the glass with it. This is a simple one. You and your friends hanging out, lighting barbecue grills in the house. Last time I drank these, uh, I did light a charcoal grill inside of my girlfriend's house caused a whole ruckus. Probably not anything to do with the Yakult, but the soju, which is the second ingredient in this. Uh, soju is absolutely delicious. Uh, I don't really know how to describe it. It kind of tastes like vodka. It tastes like a, if you put booze in a Capri Sun, which I may or may not have done in the past. And in the interest of keeping this one lighthearted, we're just gonna freestyle this. We're not gonna have any measurements. Uh, this stuff is about I believe 14% alcohol, so we're just gonna go a little bit past the shoulders of the bottle. You can also drink it straight. Normally it's a shot type situation. It's absolutely delicious. Pairs well with a smoky meats and stuff. And then we're gonna take two of these little jimmies and just pour it right on in there. So I got some freeze dried strawberries. You can get these from most grocery stores. Well, pretty dusty. Uh, they're certainly dry. I'm just gonna throw a bunch of these in there. Uh, that's gonna add that nice kind of strawberry flavor. It goes well with the yogurt. Uh, if you're a real booze bag, you could drink this for breakfast. Make a wonderful shake. I filled this up way too much. Okay, I'm gonna just give it a... <laughs> Motherfucker. All right, we're just, there you go. All right. There we go. Just gonna give it a good shake. While you're shaking, you could just have nice thoughts. Think about hot dogs from Costco. This would go wonderfully with a hot dog from Costco. Here, get a glass. Uh, you can fill this glass with ice, uh, additional ice, but um, you know, in the interest of making kind of a quick, fun drink uh, for you and your kids, um, <laughs> don't give your kids alcohol unless you want them to turn out like me. And you're just gonna. Just pour it in there. Let all those strawberries get in there. If you're on like a Zoom meeting or like a, you know, a video call, you could totally play this off as a smoothie. Now I'm gonna class it up just a tiny bit. We're gonna get our, we're gonna get one of these strawberries. We're gonna save them. And we're just gonna give it a little, little dust to give it a little blessing. And there we go. It's an absolutely delicious drink. Definitely would go well with something spicy. It's gonna be nice and cooling, a little bit yogurty, got a little bit of a tang in there. If you're not cool with soju, if you haven't figured it out yet, hop on board. It's awesome. Uh, you can drink it like beer. Every time I've done that, I've wound up peeing on some part of my house that I shouldn't be peeing on. So maybe don't drink it like a beer, just small amounts. Keep it simple, but cheers. Delicious stuff. Oh boy. I could drink very many of those. You, you can't even taste the booze in this. You just walk in and say, oh hey, good to see you there. <laughs> What's up? I'm Charles <laughs> from Slushy Slushy Drinking All With Me and Making With Me. <laughs> from Slushy Slushy Drinking With Me. 